So what if Samsung just decided to take its fan edition idea and turn it into a whole lineup? As yes, the Galaxy S23 FE is now live and let's just say it's what we expected and it's also not. We also get a Tab S9 FE series in addition to a pair of buds that really defy the bang for the buck. And maybe right now is not the best time to buy a Mac and trust me on this one, because I just bought one. <laughs> I'm Jaime Rivera, and you're okay to call this the fan edition segment because uh, we have a lot of that today. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today is coming later in the video, so don't worry because we're packed today. For now, let's talk about Apple because we have some interesting reports about possible new Macs coming soon. Mac rumors reported that Cupertino could launch a new Mac this same month. Apparently, there are imminent changes to the Mac trade-ins coming soon, and the company will likely begin accepting new models for trade-ins this month. And maybe you're wondering why this would be an indicator of a new device coming soon. And well, it's already happened in the past, back in June, where before WWDC, when Apple began accepting trade-ins for the Mac Studio, the 13-inch M2 MacBook Air, and the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro for credit towards new Apple product purchases. Then they simultaneously launched the 15-inch MacBook Air, the second-generation Mac Studio, and the Apple Silicon Mac Pro. This would also align with reports from July coming from Mark Gurman, in which he said that October of this year could see the announcement of the first Mac's powered by M3 chipsets. He said that the 13-inch MacBook Air, 13-inch MacBook Pro, and 24-inch iMac are all candidates for potential updates. So yeah, if you're looking to buy a MacBook, which I actually just did, maybe it's a good idea to wait and see what happens. Actually, mine is shipping, so I don't know what I'm... I'll think about it. Now, all right, let's start with the official news because, yes, Samsung just announced all the new Fan Edition devices. But let's start with the first Fan Edition version of the Galaxy Buds. I had some hands-on time with them recently, and they are better than I expected. Samsung claims that their powerful bass offers a deep and rich sound that allows users to enjoy music the best way possible. Now, they have an interesting three-microphone system, one on the inside and two on the outside, which they claim helps separate your voice from unwanted background noise. And don't worry, the rumors of no ANC aren't true. We do have it built in in addition to an ambient mode. Also, despite this being the FE model, these earbuds have the best battery life in the Bud series with 8.5 hours of playback and a total of up to 30 in the case. While using ANC, those numbers are still great with 6 hours of playback and up to 21 on the case. They have the same design language as the series, and Samsung claims that the Buds FE are engineered to be comfortable to wear for long periods of time without an issue. Three different sizes of ear tips and two different sizes of wing tips are included and they are also splash resistant thanks to IPX2 rating. Galaxy Buds FE are available for $99 in two different colors, graphite and white. I know, the price is the craziest part. Moving on, let's talk about the new members of the Galaxy Tab S9 family, the Tab S9 FE and Tab S9 FE Plus. The latter is bigger, a 12.4 inches diagonal on the display, while the base model is a 10.9 inch panel, both with an automatic refresh rate that adapts to up to 90 Hertz. Both tablets are powered by the Exynos 1380 and the ARM Mali G68 GPU, and you can get them with up to 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage on the Plus version and eight gigs of memory and 256 gigs of storage on the S9 FE, up to obviously. The two new models received an IP68 rating, offering enhanced durability, and that's crazy for that kind of tablet. Also, the Tab S9 FE Plus brings a 10,090 million power battery, which, according to Samsung, can last up to 20 hours of video playback on a single charge. Now, on the other hand, its smaller sibling comes with an 8,000 million power power pack. For the cameras, both tablets offer a 12 megapixel selfie shooter and an 8 megapixel primary, though with the Plus model, you can get an additional 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Other features include both models tuned by AKG dual speakers and Dolby Atmos support, a fingerprint sensor on the power key, and an S Pen included in the box. The Galaxy Tab S9 FE series is available starting at $449 in four colors, gray, silver, lavender, and mint. They look pretty interesting. 
And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about the launch of the Galaxy S23 FE. We've spent a good amount of time covering this possible launch, and today we get a lot of what we expected and a lot of what we didn't. First of all, yes, at least in the US, it's powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which I know would have been great if it was the plus. Still, this is good. You pair it with up to 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, plus an additional vapor chamber that helps to control heat and sustain performance while doing heavy tasks and even gaming, and it's all backed by a 4,500 milliamp hour power pack. This new device has a 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display on the front with an adapted refresh rate that goes from 60 to 120 hertz. Now on the back, it sticks to Samsung's Galaxy S series design language with its floating camera and its premium finish, though yeah, from my time with them, I will tell you they are thicker and far more reflective, like a lot. That said, don't worry, Samsung didn't skimp out on the IP68 rating here. The camera department includes a 50 megapixel main sensor, an 8 megapixel telephoto with 3x optical zoom, and we also get a 12 megapixel ultra wide. The Samsung Galaxy S23 FE is available starting at $599 on October 26 and includes color options like mint, cream, graphite, and purple, with indigo and tangerine available exclusively on Samsung.com. But, anyways, in today's question, let us know I mean, what do you think of this new fan edition list of products? Because Honestly, in my case, I like what I see, but I'm not gonna lie, those buds are what caught my eye the most, mainly because they do not look cheap, they do not feel cheap, they sound actually really good, and they're just 99 bucks. That for me was a steal, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me cover official news again. It's been a while. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.